Frustration is mounting for Makakilo residents dealing with the persistent illegal dumping problem. This is on Panana Street near the Palehua Villas townhomes. Large piles of trash are dumped on the sidewalks days and even weeks before the scheduled pickup, which is illegal. Security cameras were set up in the area, but they were stolen shortly after they were installed. Manolo Morales follows up. Manolo? Joe, residents tell me it's not just an eyesore, it's also dangerous. I asked a council member who's been trying to fix the problem, and she says it's time for the residents in the area to do more. This corner of Panana Street has become a constant target for illegal dumpers. Furniture, appliance, and other large pieces of trash get dumped here regularly, and they wind up blocking the sidewalk for weeks. There's an elementary school up the block, so children have to go around it. It also blocks the view of drivers coming out of the driveway. So there's an accident to happen, plus the children walking on the highway and cars trying to get through, the trash dumpsters out on the street. This, something has to be done. Bulk trash pickup was earlier today, so it looks fine now, but residents tell me this won't last because usually trash will be dumped here illegally by the next day. We started reporting on the problem two years ago, and with the help of council member Kimberly Pine, security cameras were installed. How long did the cameras stay up there? Uh, approximately two weeks. Wow. And we put our own personal camera up, and that only lasted a week. Las Caracas tells me she calls police every time she sees it happen, but by the time officers arrive, it's too late. She adds that the city inspectors have found some of the people doing it because they left some sort of clue, and those people have been fined. The fine was increased last year from $500 to $2,500. This is a disgrace to our entire city, and it's very sad that this keeps happening, especially in this one area in Makakilo. Council Member Pine tells me police can't be here 24 hours a day, so the condo associations need to get together and put a stop to this once and for all by putting more cameras at different locations. If we had cameras set up across the street, we would have been able to see who stole the cameras on the other side. And so we just need to bring everybody together, and I'm hoping that this will be the final straw that does that. Now, the resident manager for Palihua Villas tells me her association is willing to put up more cameras if other associations are willing to help out. We'll let you know what happens. Manola Morales, KHON, 2 News.